Uh, shalom, shalom, makim. First and foremost, I have to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashim, Kargadash. Double honors to my apostles, the elders, the great minister, who will be on the truth according to the Bible. Shalom to the birds out there, to the folk who are pushing this word and all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. This is uh, Brother Kazapa from the Philadelphia Plain Tables Camp. I want to quickly get this lesson as you saw in the video before of there's an example of what sifting is sifting the wheat okay all right and wheat representing ultimately you know the elected nation of israel because those are the things that are useful okay wheat is useful the the chaff is not okay even though they're blended in with the wheat so now when you get into the scriptures you have an understanding of what the lord is talking about right it says amos 9 and 9 it says for lo i can I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in a sheaf, yet yet shall no least grain fall upon the, upon the earth. Now but this, okay, even there's a sifting going on in the uh in our nation right now. All right, you're finding those Israelites that are useful, okay, which is the, ultimately gonna be at the elected nation of Israel preaching this word and gospel. Okay, but then you're going to have those that are not useful and they're like chaff and they're going to, you know, chaff, as you saw in the video, it flies away with the wind. Okay, and we know that, you know, according to scriptures, you know, these these dudes are flying away with every wind of doctrine. Okay, all right. But the elected nation of Israel are going to stay solid, you know, and, and, and stay grounded. <laughs> and that's what you saw in the video. You had the actual wheat staying grounded while the chaff blew away and then they separated but it took that person to separate them for you to know which is which and that person ultimately is yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right with the angels okay you know all right those are the ones that doing the sifting okay matter of fact even the lord warned peter let's get this in luke luke 21 or uh, luke 22 and uh, 31 it says and the lord said simon simon Behold, Satan have desi have desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. Okay, so you have the spiritual demon Satan desire to have uh, Peter. Okay, all right. Demons wanted to go after Peter because ultimately Peter was a man of the Lord. Okay, all right. He he was of the elect. Okay, but to sift him as wheat, what to make him fall away? To wait to make him go. Away with every wind of doctrine, with every way of being, okay? Because that's what happens to chaff with, with the wheat. Because when you cut down wheat, the chaff comes with it, okay? When you're grinding all this stuff, the chaff, you know, is in the mix of, in there, all right? So, but when you sift it, the chaff separates from the wheat. And Satan is looking to, was looking to sift you, all right? You know, make you become as the as the uh, uh, the chaff. But we know ultimately, if you're of the elected nation of Israel, you can't be, you can't turn into chaff. You're always going to be the wheat. You're always going to be the useful uh, uh, plant of the Lord. Okay, you you can always be useful, in in the sense of righteousness. Okay, all right. So it shows you right there that you know the 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 point of sifting. Okay, all right. It's very uh, important to understand what what the Lord is talking about in the scriptures. Okay, it's it's a it's a separation. It's a separation process. Okay, and that's what you're seeing right now in the nation of Israel. All right, those that know that there's like there's a separating there's a separation going on. Okay, those that truly believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai and those that don't. Okay, and the sifter is Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, even when the Lord goes and sifts uh, Jake from these other nations, they look like the other heathen. Okay, but the Lord's gonna make a what? A uh, separation there. Okay, He's gonna make a separation there. Uh, it's gonna be known that those individuals that are gonna be up in these other countries that may look like the other, other heathen nations, they're Israelites because they believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai and they're pushing forth this word. Okay. So if you see a brother out there in, in, in uh, the Philippines that look like he's a, a one of them, somebody in Ger uh, uh, Germany that looks like a so-called white man, somebody in Japan that looks like a so-called Japanese man, okay? These ultimately, if they're out there in the highways and highways, these are Israelites, okay? And the Lord is making a difference between them and the people that they are surrounded by, okay?
okay? Even though they may look the same. Because again, wheat and chaff can look the same, very much the same. It is up to the sifter to, to start sifting to make the to make the difference between the two. Okay, by throwing in the air and letting the wind or other uh, philosophies, doctrines take away the chaff while the while the wheat is, is being grounded uh by the truth. Okay. So I just want to quickly get that real fast. Just give you an example, Akim Akwaf of sifting. Okay, so you can understand the scriptures when the Lord said that he's gonna be sifting in these times, or when brothers say the Lord is uh sifting, okay. Uh, the the house cleaning house okay so with that hopefully this is edifying to you like the nation of Israel like to give all praises honor and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai Bashmi Al Kadesh like to give double honors to my apostles and elders a great millstone who will tell me the truth and shalom to all the brothers out there that the full conserve pushing this word in all righteousness and sincerity until next time to the elect say shalom.